seven weight that we did the week after this baby. Mm -hmm. I pulled out the cast in four weeks, ah! and you couldn't even tell. And a big calf, and a bad, like, worst fracture. Like, it was like, it was a crazy bad fracture. Yeah. And healed up like nothing. Yeah, like, this one's weird. Like, he, we took it off, we walked away, and we did an implant check, and the next time I looked up, he was full galloping into his pants. <laughs> family video hope you're having an awesome day we're up here in Alberta Canada we're hanging out with Cody Creelman the cow vet we're gonna hang out with him today we're doing the ride along and we're just gonna kind of see what his day is like so I hope you guys enjoy it um, for those of you who love cows I know you're gonna love this video so let's get to it Jack. Look at that smooth flow. Hey, good morning. <laughs> Hello, Palpation Nation. Welcome to the vlog. Today, I am super excited for my special guests, the Axe family. So we have Cody and we have Taylor, and they drove all the way up from the U.S. All right, let me introduce you to Cody Creelman, the cow vet. He's right here. Hey, guys. How's it going? And Cody, why don't you... Uh, Tell us about your channel and what it is that you do. So I'm a beef cattle veterinarian in the Calgary, Alberta area. I just share my life as a, as a beef cattle vet. So kind of everything from preg testing to semen testing and taking care of sick cows. And then I include the rest of my life as well. So as a business owner and a dad and a husband and just kind of all encompassing. That's awesome. So we're gonna be here for a couple days hanging out with Cody he has a cool name too so Cody and Cody <laughs> this is the second Cody in, in the last week that we had done a video with hi everyone this is Cody and Taylor to help out a calf that has a broken leg. Hopefully it's good, I don't know. He, she acts a little different, like she uses that leg more than- But he's been frustrated. Yeah, I got a red cow over here, it's actually this. You want me to give the romp in now? Was that the one that chased you guys out of the pen? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
No? It's can feel. I think it's strong, much stronger than before. You think so? Yeah, actually it does. It was okay. pretty wobbly before, eh? You think it's... I think it's coming. Like that, yeah, before that laxity was... Like, I'm still going to put a splint on. Yeah. But I think we're winning. Her foot, it's pretty, it's screwed yeah. on, but she's yeah. functional. Eh? It grows kind of straight up. The hook now. <laughs> now, Gary said we did a bad job the last time we splinted, and he had to redo it better. Oh, no. But he put 14 rolls of duct tape <laughs> on when he did it, so... <laughs> All right, this calf is good to go. I did help float a horse's teeth yeah. one time. Yeah. That was pretty fun. With a power float or a manual? It was a uh, manual. Yeah, see, we have a power one that's like a drill. Hey. What do you think, Taylor? Pretty cute calf? Yeah. That's for you. Oh, I know. Got, got the, the long oh, glove on now. Yeah, you're gonna do it. <laughs> okay, I just sleeved up for for a preg test. We're gonna preg test one cow, and I'm going to give you this glove. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> it's your time. To Have shine. you ever preg checked before? No, I haven't preg checked before, but I've I've watched it been done and explained to me. Yeah. But okay. I've never actually. <laughs> and I got um, the lube here. Palpated, right? Yeah, palpated. Palpation nation. Palpation That's nation. That's where the word comes from. That's my group. That's my crew. <laughs> Uh, Cody's just gonna palpate her if you don't mind. Sure. Be nice and slippery. Yeah, no, that's good. It'll it'll push it over your hand. So your hand and go straight in like that. Right. So go all the way up to your elbow and you'll feel down. So like I'm feeling across the bottom. Yeah. And it like I can feel the the wall and then it like opens up. Yeah. So then that's into her pelvis and then, yeah, we can see and her. then you pass her pelvis into her abdomen and straight down is where her here she's probably open, so we figured well he's so here. Like reaching in there's not time yeah. they will cycle and still be very careful. It's nice and warm. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely is a good way to warm your hands up if you know they're freezing on a cold day. Um, open. Open is right. I know you were you were wanting to go for the pregnant. There's nothing better than yelling pregnant. <laughs> How was that? That was awesome. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> So we put a couple sutures in that it will heal up just fine and we'll be good. We're going to run back to the office now. So we're back at the office and Cody has a webinar that he's going to be doing here for a little bit. And then I think we're going back out after that. That's right. Yeah. So Cody Krillman, the cow vet is hopefully one of many YouTubers that we meet up with on this trip. Uh, he invited us to come up and do this week long trip and we have some other stuff planned uh, after we hang out with Cody. Been awesome so far hanging out with them and getting to know them. And so I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description to Cody's channel. So if you haven't uh, followed his channel, uh, go down there, check it out, um, hit subscribe. Um, and he definitely has a lot of cool vet videos and just his life um, out here in Alberta. He has so much knowledge just about cows. And then we go to our Catholic processing protocol. So we have this, this processing protocol for each sort of category. We have a select back program just so that your customers have that assurance of that beer is beer guaranteed. So Cody just got done with the webinar. He did an awesome job. Good job, man. Thank you. Uh, super talented guy, super knowledgeable. Um, just fun listening to him. Half the stuff he said I didn't really understand, but I did learn some things. Uh, so that was really great. And we're gonna get some lunch and then we're gonna go cut some deads. All right, Taylor, let's go cut some deads. 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 We're off to cut some deads. Postmortem. Fun fact. So some people call it an autopsy, right? But it's not an autopsy, it's a necropsy because autopsy means 
uh, to do a postmortem on one's own species. Huh. So if we were doing an autopsy on a cow ourselves, we would have to be cows. Hmm. So it's a necropsy or a postmortem or cutting dead. Cutting dead. What would you say is the funnest part of your job? The most fun? The people. The people? It's always about the people. So I'm, I think some people get confused. They think that I'm super passionate about, about being a cow vet. And that's not at all the case. My true passion is, is veterinary medicine as a whole. It's like the culture and the politics and the students and the people and the medicine. But, but what I love most is just the people that I get to work with every day. The like, talented veterinarians, my staff. I love farmers. Like Farmers make my day. Like It's just they're, they're what, that's what keeps me going. They're the ones that are grateful. Like You can help an animal. You can save its life. But they're just as liable to run you over and kick you at the end of the day. It's the farmers that you create that connection with. They're like my friends, my family, yeah, all of them. So that's like the most spectacular part. Just you basically get to spend the whole day with, with your friends. Hey, just want to give you a warning that this video does get a little bit graphic. And so if that's something that you're not into, then uh, I won't be offended if you stop watching. But we do basically cut a cow up and then figure out what the cause of death is. So. Oh, you want some long gloves? You know, I'll just like, film and watch. And... You got the axe for the axe family? Yes. <laughs> Do you approve? Yeah. This is a good standard issue cavet axe. Let me see. <laughs> Will you sign my axe? Yeah. Dude. It's the first axe I've ever signed. <laughs> <laughs> now we started a thing, right? <laughs> yeah. This thing, this axe will be worth millions one day. <laughs> Right? You're gonna you're gonna buy it back for me when you hit a million subs so you can do a giveaway. The first axe you ever sign. <laughs> so what you do though is when you hit a million subs, you gotta take that gold play button and get it ground down into oh, an yeah. axe. Yeah. Mm. Gold play button axe. Huh? <laughs> it's documented. <laughs> it was Cody's idea. <laughs> that smell. Mm. There's the Cox of Femoral joint, the hip. So then we work from front to back. So the first step we're gonna do is get into the voice box. So each organ that I go through, I'm basically ruling out a specific disease at a time. So here I'm ruling out a disease called BVD. Then I look at in between the larynx, these are his vocal cords. I'm looking for an infection uh, caused by a bacteria called Fusobacterium. I don't see it, so I keep going. Looking in his trachea now for infectious bovine rhinotracheitis. I don't see it, so I keep going. Okay. So this is the axe part. So we always start on this side. Uh, so basically, that break through each rib on both sides, and we just lift the whole uh, rib, the whole rib up, uh, and I'm breaking it through the bone. So break it through bone. And if you go all the way through and hit lung, it's fine. It won't wreck anything. You just used to that smell. What smell? Yeah. Woo. Whole new meaning to Axe family. Back. So this is his lung field. The left ventricle and the right ventricle. And open up the abdomen. So that's his bile duct right there. Uh -huh. So every time you eat a fatty McDonald's meal, your gallbladder goes like oh. that. And the gall uh, digests fat. Huh. Fun fact, horses don't have a gallbladder. <laughs> so there's his liver, and he saw this bump. Nice little abscess in his liver. This is analogous to uh, a person's appendix. Huh. So this is essentially your appendix, except for yours is the size of a pinky. <laughs> yeah. Oh. The cows is this big because it's a secondary site of fermentation. Nice. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> it's like a little baby. Just wanting to be born. <laughs> uh -oh. 
<laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> be something that would be a cause of death. Uh, incidental finding for sure. So the, the final cause of death for this guy, the, the signs that I'm seeing are threefold. Uh, the first one is the muscle pallor. So you can see that this muscle is quite a bit more pale in comparison to this muscle, right? You can see it's a lot darker in red. Mm -hmm. hmm. So a direct color comparison. Your muscles should all be the same color, right? So hind end pallor. Cranial congestion, so meaning front end congestion, gas, and uh, what we call rapid autolysis or rotting fast. So that's why this recently dead animal that appears to smell worse than you would expect because of rapid rotting. So the cause of death is bloat, it's free gas bloat. Hmm. So that's, that's why he died. Um, the reason for that in the feedlot is a couple different things. One is it's a metabolic disease. It's a result of how we feed those animals. Um, but it's also an inhibition of them to burp off that gas. We talked about that one case of the cow laying down, not being able to burp off the gas. In this case, it's because this rumen had a lot of acid. The acid shuts off the sensors that tells the rumen that it's full. And then it doesn't know that it's full and it's just like a um, self-fulfilling problem. It's just more acid, less burping, more acid, less burping until the animal finally expires from that. Yeah. Calves, uh, six months of age, sometimes they're actually... Uh... Well, that about sums up day one with Dax family and Cody Krillman. Cow vet. I, th I thought you were going to end the video on on uh, Emerson crawling all over you. <laughs> Dude, what's up? <laughs> Way when we're hiking this year. <laughs> yeah, that sums up today. Hope you enjoyed it, hanging out with Cody. Uh, make sure you go check out his channel. Uh, there should be a circle that pops up. And you can go find his channel and uh, subscribe. And if you're new to my channel, thanks for watching. I'm glad you're here. And I'd love for you to go check out our video that is on our channel trailer and then also the meaning of Axe Family. It'll give you an idea of who we are. Um, so yeah, we'll see you guys later. Hats off to you.